February 14th, 1969, just over the road from where we are, Tommy Nutter opened up. Tommy was a very famous and well-regarded man in the tailoring world. He kind of reinvigorated Savile Row and turned it uh, out of being a, uh, a sort of a, a kind of an extension of the gentlemen's clubs from St. James's and turned it into something, you know, potentially quite cool and relevant for the 19, well, heading into the 1970s. Edward Sexton was at the the core of the tailoring aspect of Tommy Nutter uh, and here we are back on Savile Row with Edward having opened up his pop-up shop and we're here to look at the ready-to-wear collection that we are collaborating with them on and we'll be selling on the rate.com. The great thing about this collection ultimately is that it absolutely epitomizes why we love tailoring, why we love people like Edward Sexton, because the details matter. The details are at the very core of every single thing that happens uh, in this collection. And we're gonna take a closer look at this particular jacket in a second to uh, show you exactly why we think that even though it's ready to wear, you still find those bespoke touches, which I think everybody wants. So this is the jacket we're gonna take a closer look at. And when I talk about details, I really mean uh, specifically the saddle stitching along the lapel which is something that usually with bespoke you kind of ask for it isn't a fait accompli with regards to tailoring it needs to be added on the patch pockets everyone loves a patch pocket they always look terrific especially in the summer slightly loose slightly uh, broadens the silhouette but with these and I think is a really beautiful touch uh, and the same with the breast pocket is the inverted pleats which uh, I guess kind of like a dart is useful for uh, shape as well as just the kind of sharp aspect of tailoring that everybody wants to have that slightly sexy and uh, it, you know in, invigorating aspects of what you can do with cloth with a great cutter and uh, great craftsmanship. Now moving on from the black Irish linen uh, there is a broad collection to choose from but I want to pick up something quickly first before we delve into it. Uh, it's this. So this suit um, is a, a, a very, very beautiful grey suit that uh, li will literally work for absolutely any occasion. Um, but the reason why I picked it out, ultimately, is that it has a notch lapel. Now, you might think that's not that interesting. However, this is the first of the Edward Sexton Ready to Wear notch lapel uh, suit jackets. Ultimately, Edward is known for his lapels. His, the, the lapels are, are such an important hallmark for the brand. The nice bright exuberant colour is big, bold and heavy hitting. They are great for the summer. These uh, are going to go very quickly ultimately because we are um, looking into a world where people are going to be travelling more and I think a lot of people are investing money in new clothes that are um, exciting and uh, are not necessarily just for work. So something like this for example and this is different from again from the uh, Irish linen in that it's uh, it's got the ticket pocket, it's got the standard pockets on either side uh, rather than the patch pockets so perhaps could, could be considered more formal so you kind of got to play with what, uh, what you prefer with that and uh, further back you've got your navy blues, your greys, uh, you've got a brown linen here and then also uh, dinner suits. Weddings are starting again and uh, people are going to sort of functions and people are going to be around each other a lot more. So going to a black tie uh, dinner does not seem as uh, unlikely as it did last year. So uh, worth thinking about and definitely an important relevant part of the collection. Now, while Edward Sexton is famous rightfully for the suits, uh, the shirts also make up a really important part of the collection, namely because of the collar, I would say. Uh, you've got your point collar, which has been a part of the Ready to Wear collection, a really beautiful angle, very 70s, uh, but actually I would say that the spread collar has begun to sort of become less popular. I think people are looking for something like this nowadays. And uh, it's also defined by the other small details within the collar. So what you'll find with all the section shirts, you'll have a range of things. You'll have the uh, pin collar, you'll have the tab collar, which is just sort of a buttoning sort of version of the pin. It's just, a, you know, less apparatus. 
Um, and then you have the hidden button down, which uh, is, I believe here, yes. So the button is actually behind uh, the collar, so you can't actually see it, but it is nonetheless uh, a, a traditional button down. What uh, you have here also is just a range from your traditional business cottons in all sorts of colors to Bengal stripes, uh, from cotton Bengal stripes uh, to, uh, to linen. And then you also have the silk shirts. Now, uh, silk shirts are a, a, a very bold purchase for whatever color you go for. I think this is a beautiful midnight blue, but the cream silk shirts that Sexton do, I think are absolute key for anyone doing black tie. Here's my little sort of uh, two cents for uh, black tie. If you wear a smoking jacket, I would wear it with a cream silk shirt. I think nothing looks smarter uh, and it doesn't have to have a bib. It's perfectly okay for black tie. Uh, but then again, of course, if, you're, if, you, if you like to wear something with a bib, then of course you could do something else, but just buy the silk shirts anyway because they're incredibly sexy, very comfortable and something slightly different. Also in the shirting collection are a terrific, bold new direction for Edward Sexton. They created these 1980s power shirting models that work for both business and for leisure. Ultimately, their vision for making shirts was that people are really looking to be bold with what they wear, and these shirts make a huge amount of sense if you take it in that context.